Florence is a stunning city. It was the cradle of the Renaissance and is one of the most romantic places in the world. Step outside of the tourist track and you can experience the city through one of Italy's favorite foods, gelato. Perché No is a family-run gelateria that has been selling its delicious gelato since 1939. Tucked away in the narrow streets near the Duomo, they make their gelato on the premises fresh every morning. Perché No is so good, it's been voted one of the top 10 places in the world to eat gelato. And the celebrity cruises destination of Livorno is just an hour away. Ciro, tell me about the history of gelato here. Gelato was born in Florence during the Renaissance, invented by Bernardo Montalenti, who worked for the Medici household. Today we still refer to his original recipe for our gelato. Ciro, what's special about your gelato? Gelato is made of many things, fresh ingredients and a passionate heart. My own personal rule for gelato is that you can't have more than five ingredients. That way the key flavor really comes through. What's the inspiration for the flavors that you use? Many of our flavors are traditional Florentine flavors, such as pistachio, chocolate and hazelnut. We also get inspiration from customers, such as the suggestion for green tea flavor, which worked very well and has now become one of our specials. A flavor of the day. Cero, what's your favorite flavor? In summer, it's lemon and blueberry, and in winter, I love pistachio or honey and sesame. My favorite is also pistachio, which I know I can get in Waitrose. You wake up so early and work so hard. What keeps you doing this? I am happy when a customer walks in and says we make good gelato. We have many loyal Florentine customers and loyal international customers who always pay us a visit when they're back in Florence. Koreans come in saying we are very famous in Korea for our watermelon sorbet. I tell my customers, don't just taste it. Close your eyes and focus on the sensations, because it's a whole feeling that's part of a taste. If you can understand this, then you understand my way of making gelato. When in Florence, take a stroll down the narrow streets. Passeggiata, as the Italians call it. With a gelato in hand, it's a wonderful way to soak up the atmosphere and live the Florentine lifestyle.